Be sure to check out Rob Plays. There you can hang out with me while we play video games and talk about life stuff. So what I want to do here is pick back up with some of our previous topics that have been left hanging over the last few months and begin by focusing on comic book concepts. And where we've previously talked about incontinuity objects like the Ultimate Nullifier, in this video I want to take a step outside of Marvel's main continuity and talk about the heart of the universe. So the heart of the universe has an extremely short bit of history but stands as the most powerful artifact in the history of Marvel Comics if we take into account every artifact from across the landscape. Appearing for the first and last time within the story Marvel The End, the story as it was written by Jim Starlin revealed that the heart of the universe had been created by the one above all due to the fact that over the course of the universe's history, heroes had been dying more frequently than villains, meaning that an imbalance was occurring between the forces of good and evil. To this end, the heart of the universe endowed its wielder with the power of the one above all itself and was first encountered by a race of aliens who looked to provide complete order to the universe by using the heart to endow one member of the various races around the universe with absolute power. Brainwashing those individuals to believe in the aliens' absolute construct of law, those who were chosen would enslave their section of the universe using their abilities and bring about a rigid stance of law and order, all of which would be controlled by the aliens themselves. As a result and within the story of Marvel The End, a human named Akhenaten rose to power as a pharaoh of Egypt reigning for around 17 years before he vanished and was presumed dead. However, the story revealed that Akhenaten was selected by the aliens and endowed with access to the heart of the universe, providing him with the power to manipulate and control the very fabric of reality on a molecular scale. Using these abilities, Akhenaten appeared before Asgard, the Sky Fathers, and the populace of Earth stating his intentions to force the world's population into subservience. While the hero community responded by coming together in an effort to find the source of Akhenaten's powers, various villains had looked to usurp Akhenaten's power for themselves. To this end, Doctor Doom utilized his time platform to travel into the past and replace Akhenaten when the aliens came, but was thwarted when Akhenaten used his ability to manipulate space-time to prevent Doom's actions. As a result, Doctor Strange assembled the original defenders of Silver Surfer, the Incredible Hulk, Nimue the Submariner who were joined by Captain Marvel and Thanos who worked behind the scenes, locating the alien ship and accessing its source of energy. Stumbling upon the heart of the universe, while the rest of the group was discovered, Thanos snuck away and absorbed the entirety of the heart into himself. Now following this, Jim Starlin established that where the Cosmic Cube allowed its user to create any and everything and the Infinity Gauntlet allowed its user to manipulate and control the facets of the universe, the heart of the universe allowed its wielder to become one with the universe itself. What this meant was that its possessor of the heart, the power contained within, had become one with Thanos, meaning it couldn't be stripped away. Instead, the power had to be willingly given up. While the Living Tribunal appeared before Thanos and deemed him unworthy of possessing absolute power, because Thanos refused to give up the heart's power, the entirety of the heroes of the universe were brought together to engage in a massive battle. However, since Thanos had the power of the One Above All, Thanos simply destroyed the multiverse in and of itself, eliminating all life within, including the Living Tribunal, the cosmic entities, and the universe's heroes, leaving himself as its sole survivor. Following this, Adam Warlock appeared owing to the fact that he existed outside of space and time, Conversing with Thanos directly, Adam Warlock revealed that the entire situation ranging from the creation of the heart of the universe up to the current moment had all been engineered by the one above all who knew that Thanos would inevitably destroy all existence, thereby correcting the problem. Coming to this realization, Thanos recreated the universe but with the caveat that whenever a hero dies, they will not return and instead will be replaced by someone new, maintaining balance between good and evil. While this idea was only confined to the universe at hand, the fact remained that with the recreation of the universe, Thanos destroyed himself, ensuring that the heart of the universe could never be reformed or recaptured by anyone else. With that being said, we're going to bring this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you all later. Peace.